Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Talk. It is uh, the last week of November, and uh, we're. I'm looking around the room, and I've been walking and looking around the church, and I'm seeing things are a little different this week. And the same it's people. Beginning to look no, no, we're not. It's still November. We're not. We're not going there yet. Although, like, oh, no. here it started. Oh, here. Yes. Yeah, okay. Here it's so around the building. And uh, we, we decided we will record in front of the plainest wall in the building <laughs> because we want you to come on yeah. Sunday and, yes. and the camera won't do justice to everything. That's right. And so it's a feast for your eyes. <laughs> and join us Sunday morning at 10. Uh, you can come and, and worship with us. And, uh, and then you can also, to their faces, thank the people who've done a lot of hard work uh, transforming our building and making it look mm. nice and mm -hmm. festive. And um, and I think sometimes we don't put enough into you know decor as worship and how mm -hmm. that leads us in that. And so mm -hmm. um, I mean we we certainly decorate. We don't always think through it, work through it, have a discussion about it. But certainly there's a crew who do, and we're grateful. I'm grateful for them this week. Anyways, I, I know that at the Miller House, at the Miller House, we have not kind of gone into the whole Christmas mode. Part of me is like got to get through this weekend first <laughs> yeah and then i'm looking at saturday the fourth as maybe being Ooh. the day we kind of go okay mm -hmm. things can change and it's not because uh, uh now it's december I'll, I'll be clear about that normally this would be the weekend i would be thinking oh let's put up some garland or let's get some you know uh, things that are going but there's just some things going on but before we get into everything that's happening at church and all the things that you get to be part of and and, and we would love to see you at uh Kevin, what's 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 happening in your household this week? I I'm trying to get a little bit more into my community yeah. and help out a little bit more. And I see an area of need where it was asked for. So yeah. I'm going to occasionally, very occasionally, uh, uh, do some basketball referee mm. for junior high and high school. So. That's what I'm working towards. Hey, but that's it's, new. It's that's new. happening in your house because you're going out to referee training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It totally fits. So the referee training is over and now it's kind yeah. of like just um, them placing me into games and I can right. I can choose my own schedule, which is nice. So, But right. I'm, I'm excited to kind of just help out and, and see see people grow in, in that. And like, you know, for me anyways, when I was growing up, it was more than just a game. It was, it was an opportunity to have self-discipline, to mm -hmm. be challenged, be um, uh, be expressive with my body, right. you know, like all those kinds of things. Hmm. And because I wasn't a great student, it gave me a confidence for life as well too that mm -hmm. I never would have known before. So how often now at the Bessie family dinner table are you like blowing the whistle to break <laughs> up an argument? Or, you know, <laughs> Like, are you like, is Carter going to the line for free throws or anything like this? It's like, you know, you know, we should institute that. And also, this is like out of bounds. Yeah. This is a foul. That's right. So if the fist comes up, you're in trouble. That's great. That, that can be a line used in a lot of situations. <laughs> All right. That's Same. excellent. Yeah. yeah. And Jeff, what? That's really good. What have you prepared to share with everyone? <laughs> well, uh, I was thinking about your question, so <laughs> that's where I'll go. Uh, this week for us, our Saturday was this past Saturday, so we drove up, uh, we, we, we downloaded that permit that you get for a yep. tree, and we went up, uh, up past Crystal, well, the other way from Crystal Mountain up, up uh, Glen Rosa Road, yep. and uh, went into the woods and got a tree, and it's it's narrow and tall because we had a space like that and uh, then we decorated it and so, it was great. So instead yeah. of deep and wide, you <laughs> went in the opposite, tall. you went narrow and tall. <laughs> exactly. Right. So, I feel uh, like there's a song about <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that was really fun. We, we decorated and uh, enjoyed the day and, and um, now, now we are festive. Mm. So mm -hmm. it's looking a lot like Christmas in my house as well as here. So. Yeah. yeah, excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, it's uh, um, kind of part of me is like nothing because I'll be on like so much focus right now is just the next, like I said, the next couple weeks for me at the church. But the kids, I mean, oh man, there's so much going on in their world, mm -hmm. and it's like they're as as your kids are. It's always lots, right? Mm -hmm. You know, as we're all like, oh, our classes is going skating, and and you know, so that's happening at the schools now, which is awesome. 
they get to go skating like three times over the course mm -hmm. of the winter at the arena here. So mm -hmm. they're all excited about that and they're in Christmas productions, like a skit here, but also a thing at the school, which I think is going to be streamed. Mm. I, I don't know how that's going to work, but you know, they're, I think they're recording something and then uploading it. Um, and uh, so there's just, yeah, all kinds of, you know, life just keeps moving, mm -hmm. you know? And so uh, it's, mm. It's fun. It's a real fun season because they're they're very much like yeah Christmas and all, all that stuff. So it's good. Um, and I, I don't want to say what percentage of the Christmas shopping I have done, but <laughs> it's getting there. I will say that. So it's not entirely just focusing on this week. But speaking of this week, if you've signed up to come Friday night and you're watching this before Friday night. Let this be a little reminder to you that on the 26th at 6.30, hey, you know, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, the whole Facebook thing for me was like the time of it was all messed up. And so I, I switched it so that it would work for the majority of people who were looking at the Facebook event. And then one other person messaged and said, hey, what's the time? Because it wasn't. So I know that it's not just me, but at least one other person in our church has the same issue where their Facebook account I'm set to the right time zone. It's so bizarre. Anyways, but at 6.30 p.m. at the church on the 26th, which is Friday night, uh, we're going to start celebrating Advent together. And we're going to play some silly games and make some crafts and just have, we're just going to be together. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, I think, the thing I'm most excited about mm -hmm. um, is that we're just going to get to just share some laughs and see one another and just have some fun. Now, one of the things we're doing for this week is there's going to be like a four week kind of um, um, Advent discussion page we're putting together yeah. that we're going to give out to families on Friday night. Mm -hmm. And if you, I would say this, we'd love to just get you a copy of that. If you're like, I, I can't be there Friday, but I would love to be part of the, you know, it's just like a, here's some passages to read. Here's a video that explores this theme biblically more. Here's a couple questions to talk about as a family or a couple or whoever you're with, or just personally think through and journal. And, and here's some prayer prompts that um, can lead us in the Advent season. Mm -hmm. So we wanna make that available to you. You can email the church office uh, and find out how to get that and we'll send it out. But that's that's one way we wanna, wanna get us you know, deeper in the, the themes of Advent this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so very excited for that. But then also the next Friday, because uh, it's in some ways an extension, but not. Uh, we're gonna be down at Light Up, right? And uh, we're gonna um, have a booth where anyone in the community can come. And my, my kids are like, can we invite friends? Yeah, tell them to show up at Light Up and, and be there from, uh, Jeff, help me with the times here. It's 5 p.m. Yeah. to 8 p.m., yeah. correct? Yeah. Is the times for the Light Up event. And so you can come anytime during there. Maybe you're like, I like coming to Light Up, but you know, and you wanna like help run the booth a bit, that would mm -hmm. be awesome. I'd yeah. love to chat with you about that. Yeah. Um, putting some of our church people in it so it's not, so it's, you know, just sharing that. Um, and it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It might be cold and miserable or wet and rainy, or it might just be the most amazing night ever. You never know. And, uh, and we do have a tent. tent. We'll, we'll have, have a tent set up. Yeah. So. And uh, is there, do you know, because Jeff, you've done a lot more work on the details of that. In previous years, they've had like fire pits around oh. where people can go and, and warm up. Are they doing that this year? They didn't say. Okay. But I know that they're not wanting surprised. people to spend a lot of time standing. So mm -hmm. even the craft is like, you're, you're going to have it done in like two minutes. It's not a complicated mm -hmm. thing. Um, but it, it's, it's just going to be a fun night mm -hmm. to be together as a big community. Maybe mm -hmm. you'll see your neighbors. Maybe you'll meet some new neighbors. Maybe more than anything, you'll just be rubbing elbows and just sharing in the season mm -hmm. with one another. And why not? Why not have a moment of that night where we actually direct people's attention to peace and hope and love and joy? And so, so uh, I I called and talked to the community mm -hmm. liaison person and yeah. uh, and just said, hey, can we can we be there and, and ask the details of that? But I've never been to this, so. Mm -hmm. Can you, for anybody like me, can you tell, like it's on Brown Road between yeah. the highway and Heritage Center? Yeah. Uh, but they said something about flipping the switch at six, what's that? So that's when the lights actually come on. So they, oh, okay. so they string a whole bunch of lights, yeah. um, mm -hmm. Christmas lights everywhere. So I, yeah. up until then they kind of have a couple of street lamps. Oh, okay. And people are just going to booth to booth and stuff. Yeah, everybody's yeah. kind of doing their yeah. thing. And you know, there's, there's enough light to, mm -hmm. to see what you're doing and where you're going. Yeah. 
then at six o'clock, I think over some loudspeakers, they would have like either a countdown or something like that. Okay. And then it's five, four, three, two, one. And then they flip the switch and it's just a whole bunch of lights. Now, oh, cool. I think it's like West Kelowna's version of like Rockefeller Center, you know, turning the tree on kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So okay. exactly, that's cool though. So like yeah. just to kind of say, okay, here's here's a really cool moment for us to kind of all be ready and at a come community together. event. I, I like that. I'm yeah. excited it, to, to be there. It'll be great yeah. to be there yeah. and be part yeah. of it. And uh, so, and so you're asking for. I I just think hey, so as Lakeview, yeah. I, I know not everybody's comfortable with the crowd, but mm -hmm. it's outside, so mm -hmm. I think that lo that increases mm -hmm. the uh, safety of everything, yeah. if you will. Um, and uh, but if you know if, if you are comfortable, I, I, come on down. It'll be fun. Come yeah. say hi and help out too. And, right? and help you out. Like or, and even if yeah. you're like, I don't want to stand at a booth. I'm not crafty. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Why not just come and be Lakeview and hang out? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and there's a, there's a lot of stuff to see, and there's yeah. a lot of other other uh, organizations and just random booths everywhere. Uh, there's times where there was uh, food trucks. Yeah. There was. Um, yeah, other places to warm up and mm -hmm. um, that'd be great. In, in in many ways, what we want to do is we want to say, you know, West Kelowna, we love you. We care about our neighbors, mm -hmm. and you can't really do that if you never spend time with them mm -hmm. and you never go to where they are. Yeah. And so there are some places. I mean, we that just don't work. They're not the right time, place, space, whatever for us as a church community to be at. But this is one that that mm -hmm. fits pretty good. That's cool. And uh, yeah. why not go and help share, you know, not just the commercialism side of things, but, but a little bit of, like I said, a little glimmer of joy and mm -hmm. hope and peace and love. Yeah. And you know what? Actually, I was driving yesterday in Kelowna, and they're getting ready because I think, is it Thursday night or Friday night of this week? They light up the Tree of Hope. Mm. Right in uh, and and it because you're preaching on it, here's why I clicked for him like oh yeah that's happening this weekend and you're preaching I don't want to get too much away from time but isn't this week yeah, your fine. Advent Hope Week and yeah, so yeah um, there's 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 mm. lots of hope discussion this uh, week, which will be good yeah that's great excuse me and that's, that's <coughs> the other thing that, that is happening in the next few weeks so mm -hmm. you know, we have this Friday next Friday but every Sunday we're going to uh, kind of stop on a different. Um, different advent moment and hope is this week mm -hmm. is the first one and kind yeah. of just talking through that and, well, and seeing how Christ is our hope. Um, but there's more going on than just, you know, here's Sunday morning. Um, Cause we're looking ahead like mm -hmm. the 19th. Tell us about the 19th. So the on, the on the 19th, uh, which is a Sunday morning mm -hmm. um, oh, right. is uh, like Chris said, there's, there's a kid's drama being um, prepared. And so uh, for our, one of our Sundays of Advent, we're actually celebrating joy, and we're celebrating it with the with the kids' drama uh, on on the Sunday morning. And mm -hmm. so there's practices and there's stuff being prepared for us for that. And so that's that's gonna be a really exciting morning. Mm -hmm. um, and I would yeah. say even just like every every Sunday, there will be something uh, kind of interesting happening all throughout the season as well too. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is, if you're watching this and you have Let's say you're a parent of someone standing up here. That's your clue that your grandkids will be in a skit <laughs> yes. on the morning of the 19th, and you might want to, I don't know, say, tell others. Yes. Uh, so uh, that's excellent. I know that they started practices this last week, yep. and they're very excited. Um, and then the, the week before that is our gifts of hope that we've been talking about. Yes. We are. Um, in the, those doors you can't see uh, but uh, in the auditorium we're going to make a Christmas toy shop together with Salvation Army and families uh, who can't afford stuff for their kids uh, parents can come in and, and, and shop and we're just really excited to be able to be a part of that with Salvation Army so that's the 12th through the 19th we still would love volunteers so let us know if you'd like to be a part of that. Okay, so that's that's the week leading up to the ninth. That's like the 12th to the 18th, right? Yes. 12th because we start setting up. So even if you're like, oh, I don't know what I can do during the week, but if you've got a couple hours on the Sunday afternoon, you don't mm -hmm. need to sign up to help for that, right? Yes. Just show up on the Sunday afternoon and we will have you stacking chairs, moving them out, moving in tables, all kinds of stuff to transform that room. Mm -hmm. And that's just, a, a, hey, come for an hour, come for three hours. Um, times on the setup, it's like two until it's a little after two till around five. Around yeah. five, two to five ish. And the same thing could be said for Saturday morning mm -hmm. to clean up. 
So oh yes, yeah, Thursday. So on the 18th. Yeah. yeah on the 18th. So 9 a.m. till. Boy, wouldn't it be great if by noon it was done? It probably mm -hmm. won't be. It'd probably be more like four or so in the afternoon. So well, I don't know. They, they, they we'll see. Think we could. It really depends yeah. on how many come out. Right? Yeah. yeah. The more people, the quicker it goes, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that would be great. And then Christmas Eve. Or do we want to wait till this helicopter is back? <laughs> Uh, okay, anyways, and then Christmas Eve is coming, but it's not just the 24th that we should be mindful of, correct? Mm -hmm. When are, what's happening, like we're, we're recording this on the 24th, so one month to Christmas Eve. Yeah. By the time people are watching it, even less. Yeah. When are services and... So, um, uh, December 23rd and 24th, okay. um, we felt it was good to space that out, to have two services, two options. Um, so. 23rd and 24th at 6 30 p.m. here at the church the idea is to really just celebrate um, and and like we've been working our way through Advent through through these uh, four weeks leading up and then that night is kind of a culmination to say all of this leads to Christ yeah and uh, and this is the this is the exciting moment and so we want to uh, we want to celebrate that together and so we invite you out to that we invite you to invite people as well too uh, that's often one of those one of those days where where we do get a lot of guests um, who are just really excited about coming to uh, a Christmas service and so I as a fa enjoy one of the things that our family does on Christmas Eve is we typically um, worship together for a service you know what, that's even the wrong way to say it, because they were worshiping through both services, but one in the sanctuary with everybody, and one in the nursery when we get to hang out with kids and connect yeah. with some parents mm -hmm. who have come, who maybe only come on Christmas Eve. So it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a worshiping, participating, and then just a slightly different one. And it's, I always appreciate that we have two services for that, because, you know, it's, it, it's a busy season, whether it's, you know, you've got other commitments on the 24th, so the 23rd is open, or you're, you know, going to be behind a camera on the 24th, so hey, you can just come and, and really engage differently on the 23rd. It's, it's, it's great. Come to both, come to one. We just want to be together with those who are able and, uh, and worship together and celebrate. So that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. um, church website will have all that information and more. Uh, coming up probably not today but very soon it will all be up there because sometimes we forget times of things and it's good to have a place to go back to so you can check lakeviewheightsbaptist.com and that will have more information with Christmas times and all of that stuff that uh, that you should be um, just reminded of and so that'll be there so Lakeview thanks for spending some time with us this morning and uh, we will we'll connect with you again real soon